What is up guys, this is Jeremy from Mr. X Talk 360 and this is going to be a very, very short review of this ROM. All I'm going to go into it is what you can do in the ROM. I think that's what I'm going to be end up doing now. But yeah, this ROM is called the Codename Android 1.5.6 ROM. It is basically translation stock AOSP for the Epic 4G Touch. Now this ROM is amazing. I have been using it ever since yesterday and today ever since it came out and I have to say I am very impressed let me uh, go ahead and tone down the brightness so that you guys can see better because it's going to be sort of hard to see with my iPhone's camera so yeah basically we just have stock ice cream sandwich but as you can see I can tweak it all I want you can even see my battery icon is different it is a ring and it has a percentage in the middle you can pretty much change anything you want in this ROM and that is pretty much its main perk and what you will be doing on it so let's go ahead jump into system settings interface you can change your interface power menu that is this when you just hold down the power button that should show up if you don't know, you probably should know if you are an Android user, that's sort of stupid for me to put that in there, but yeah, just saying. But yeah, power menu options, you can choose what you want in there. So let's say I want show navigation bar toggle, it will be right there. Or you can toggle those things off if you do not want them. So I usually like to have these on. Modification widget that is pretty much the power widget that is up here so you can customize indicator color you can take off indicator color you can show it not show it haptic feedback I actually think I'm gonna put that on so then it'll actually like I'll, I'll feel something and I'll make sure that I make it so that I have it set so that um, when I click on Wi-Fi it just brings it down so that I don't have to like flip it up again. So yeah, battery widget, you can change the battery icon style. Let's say I want icon with centered text. It will look like that with a centered text in the battery icon. Other things you can do is battery bar location. Let's say you want top. It would oop, I think that's what I already had. Let's see battery bar location bottom of never. What am I doing wrong here? I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, that's the battery bar. So that's not the battery icon, that's a battery bar. So let's see, I don't think I want that. But yeah, you can make thickness and you can have a charging animation too. Um, clock widget, that's pretty much, you know, you got what you're going to do there. Signal widget, you can change the style, so if you want it in text form, it'll actually show you the uh, the numbers, if you would like to know that, but I'm not technical like that. I don't really care, as long as it works, then I'm okay with it. I think the default thing is fine. Lock screen style, you can change your lock screen style. Um, <clears throat> it's not really change like the style of the lock screen, it's more like changing like different shortcuts, like you can add on shortcuts instead of just camera and unlock you can make more lock screen options I haven't been into these you can make it rotate, talk for camera, volume awake lots of nice little tweaks um... navigation bar oh you can actually oh that's cool I think this is for um... the galaxy nexus cause I don't think I think the Galaxy Nexus had that navigation bar down there. It doesn't have capacitive buttons. So probably should just ignore that. LED pulse, I gotta fix this. You can change the color of it, so that's pretty cool. LED pulse off, I'll make it 10 seconds. Pulse on. I'll just make it so that it does that. General settings, of course you can go into that. USB fast charge, ooh, I did not know you could do that. Um. Ooh, custom carrier label. That is pretty sweet. So if you don't like this, uh, 
this thing, then it's fine. Status bar transparency. That's actually pretty cool. No transparency. Let's see. Oh, I had to reset. Still has transparency. So yeah, that might suck for anybody who wanted that. But uh, yeah, you can do performance settings. Be careful if you're messing with the performance of your phone. That can definitely ruin it if you do something wrong. Let me uh, set this down. I'm sort of getting a little shaky. So developer options. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, Android debugging. Stay awake. Allow mock locations. Strict mode. Point location. Show touches. Show touches is actually pretty cool because it um it leaves like a tracker, like a ball tracker, of where you're touching. So I thought that that was cool. Show screen updates. CPU usage. I don't think anyone's gonna use that. <clears throat> I have my transition animation scale to 0.5x because I found it, the phone actually to be faster that way because I think that the transitions slow it down a lot so yeah this thing's auto rotating and I can't do that so yeah that's the developer options advanced testing I would not mess with any of these except for the spare parts spare parts is basically what you can do in the developer options just a little bit more stuff Um, and that is really it. Let's go into about phone, see what they got here. So version 1.5.6 for codename Android Ice Cream Sandwich AOSP 4.0.3. Um, again, this ROM has great battery life. I have had this on for six hours when I got home. I was at 89%. So 89% over a period of standby for about six and a half hours, I'd say that's very good for an ice cream sandwich alpha ROM. Normally, yeah, it wouldn't do that. I am so sorry guys, I forgot to go to the bugs on this ROM. The only bug is no video recording. I There is not a confirmation about if Netflix works or not. I personally don't use Netflix, so I wouldn't know. But most likely Netflix isn't working as well so same bugs as the new Cyanogemod 9 alpha build sorry guys if you want Netflix or video camera but yeah I really wouldn't even try going into video camera or else it will most likely just crash so don't even like scroll up or else it'll probably just crash so thanks guys for watching this video um, King 77 has a lot better review than what I just did now so I'll have a link to his video and channel to the description and this link to the AOSP codename Android 1.5.6 ROM will be in the description as well so if you enjoyed this video if you enjoy my other videos please subscribe it helps a lot <laughs> believe it or not but I'm actually trying to get big on YouTube like QB King so yeah guys thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time